Hi, Cancer. <laughs> Welcome to your quantum reading. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Welcome to my Cross Watchers. Cross Watcher, you could be dealing with a Cancer. The message could be for you. Feel free to take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind these are general and timeless readings. If you guys are wanting to check out any of my services, my website is located down below and also my Instagram. You can jump over and follow me there if you would like to. I just post more things on quantum physics and crazy things that you guys know I do. And thank you guys so much <laughs> for liking, subscribing. Thank you for all the ways that you have supported the channel. Let's dive in. Okay, I'm going to take just those two cards. <laughs> Chill out. Don't swim against the current. Transcend your ego. Lift the veil from the real you. Wow. Okay, those are a little intense. So, egos might be a little, um, uh, running rampant at this time. Oh, how fascinating. Troposphere. Man, that card always wants to come out for you guys. Seriously? So strange. Is that the one? Okay. Okay, geocentric model. Geocentric model is a penetration in boundaries. Let's see what else. Wow, I love how they're coming out in threes, like, perfectly. How very fascinating. Okay. Oh. Yes. Okay. So, it looks like you are protecting yourself against some type of toxicity. Or you might be gaining knowledge. Some of you guys, look at this. Look at the... What are those? Those are kidneys? Is that right? You guys might want to look at your filtering, like drinking a lot of water or that, I believe that is cranberry stuff. I don't know. Anyway, there could be something here about like um, filtering, okay? Protect. You might have a lot of knowledge about some kind of toxicity in your life. Like some of you guys, this could be something you're ingesting. Um, but you might be receiving knowledge about that, or you at least have the knowledge that you need. This is a penetration in boundaries with the geocentric model, or blurred boundaries. And then we have the binary star and the troposphere. Okay, this is a really interesting combination because I'm seeing that, oh, all right, the binary star is actually a very powerful connection believe it or not. It's like a harmonious connection in your life, whatever that looks like. The troposphere next to it is saying, it's telling me that there's a relationship in your life and you feel very interconnected with this person. You might feel like, for those of you that believe in starseed family and stuff, you might feel that with a person, like you were meant to meet them or, you know, there could be something weird about a dynamic with a person. There could be some kind of new beginning tied to that, but I'm seeing that there's some kind of blur in boundaries with the geocentric model. Um, something isn't like something's going on in the dynamic that's causing it to be a little out of balance maybe it's this thing over here there's a oh, okay that could be the thing that's going on because there is a good connection that you have the binary star it's like someone you seriously feel like wow like you there are no words to describe this connection, to be honest. There are not enough vocabulary words in the English dictionary to really describe what you feel from this connection and the synchronistic things that play out that you're like, wow. Like for it to meet up, it was like so profound that there's like no denying that, okay? Shiz. 
Yeah, there it is right there. Okay. <laughs> We're not going to mess around. So we've got the Wheel of Fortune at the top. Love that. We have the... Okay, sorry. The King of Wands. We have the Devil. Okay. And there's the Nine of Cups. There's a person that overindulges. Whenever the Nine of Cups and the Devil come out together, that's a person that overindulges on something. It could be whatever, drinking. This is, yeah, it's a good time to really chill out because things are, um, things might feel a little intense with the Devil card because there can be a pretty good level of obsession there. And then we have the Queen of Swords. <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, that is unbelievably appropriate. Okay, boundaries are starting to get really freaking firmed up. Could be a person here. I almost feel like it's this person with the knowledge. Okay, we have the Three of Wands, the Five of Pentacles. Okay. Wow. Okay, wow. We have the Knight of Wands and Santa Morte, which is like, this is a very fascinating card because it's like the Empress, but there are two Empress cards in this deck. Okay. Chill out. Don't swim against the current. That's a very interesting message. Okay. Um, hmm. Wow, these are almost, I keep wanting to um, put it in both placements. Okay, so I'm just going to say it straight up. Feels like to me that there's a person here that has some player ways. I'm just going to say it straight up. The Knight of Wands, it does get the rap of being a player. This person um, could have... The ego, wow. Transcend your ego with the king of wands and the freaking devil is like, wow. Okay, so Wheel of Fortune, some kind of fascinating shift has happened recently in a dynamic. And it could be from the boundaries with the Queen of Swords, like especially there's a person here that's like freaking mind is like a steel trap. Nothing is getting through what this person has a level of knowledge or awareness about. That is such an air sign for you. Like they will just freaking, their mind can seriously put everything about their energy on lockdown especially when they come across a person and they figure out something toxic so this person is full-blown in boundaries protection mode now cancer i don't necessarily i don't actually know where you fit into this dynamic i'm going to be 100 percent honest you could be the santa muerte i don't know you guys could I don't know your gender. You could be male or female. So take whichever position that you sit in. Here is how this plays out. The shadow of this. Man. We're going to need it. <laughs> We're going to need a second. So. There is typically a person that is like the main. The main female. The main person. And... This person is like back and forth, but um, this person is the shadow representation because this is all shadow work. That's what we're talking about with the devil card. And if the correct alchemical agents aren't being ingested, as nerdy as that sounds, the chemical makeup is everything. If this person is ingesting something that is causing some kind of toxicity, which could be alcohol, Marijuana, drugs, 
it can be even excessive food. Like you have to really take into consideration. I was reading this chemistry book that they talked about with um, even little small chemistry experiences. If you have like one over, like if you introduce too much of a chemical, you throw the whole thing out of balance. You throw the whole um, um, experiment out of balance which is why in the tarot there's a temperance card because it talks about tempering. It talks about moderation. And that is why um, in the typical tarot deck, temperance is an angel and the devil is the devil because that's how it is. All right, so shit. Um, sorry, my knee. So we have this fascinating thing playing out this person, there's an energy in here that acts like the main female. So this person has put this person as like they've turned them into this is like the person that they want to be seen with. I guess that's the best way to put it. They're front and center. This would be the person that they would marry. Or have children with whatever the heck is going on here but that causes them to revert into this knight of wands energy so this person is literally bouncing back and forth between knight and king energy and sometimes and they have to have a third party to play this out See the Three of Wands and then this Five of Pentacles? You have to have this exact dynamic for this to play out. And you have to have a third-party person. This person likely at one time was a different queen. Maybe they're the Queen of Cups or the Queen of Pentacles or the Queen of Wands if it was something sexual. Because typically in this dynamic, that's what I wonder is the change that's taken place with the Wheel of Fortune. That all of a sudden this person has like turned on their boundaries, especially if they had been a previous queen. They're not like that at all. They're in complete lockdown with their energy, like no access. You cannot gain access at all to this person's energy because their knowledge that they have on the situation is so freaking powerful they can like literally hold their boundary in any scenario in any situation typically with these experiences like i've talked about this many times how fascinating it is if you were to ever sit down and read the dsm which is like the diagnostic um whatever psychology book in the psychology world isn't it interesting how every diagnosis has like a certain set of behavior? It's almost predictive. Like you could almost completely just map out the trajectory of the experience because you can see how this person's like internalized experiences, but to the core, they abandon themselves chemically. You can see how that plays out even in the people that what they will set up in the experience. Now, there could be more people involved in this. There's, you know, the Nine of Cups. I would almost even say in this scenario that this is like, there's a lot of fuel supplies here with the Nine of Cups. So there could be a lot of different people that are involved in this situation. The number is very unknown. So because what this person does they go back to this person and experience because it's it's almost like sense and sensibility. How Willoughby, <laughs> this is Willoughby, Mr. Willoughby, how he chooses Miss Gray and her 50,000 pounds rather than Marianne, who he like really fell, it fell in love with and felt this heart connection with. Like this person's internalized trauma causes them to bounce around from experience to experience because their original home situation was never safe and secure. So they have this process where they have like the Madonna, the Madonna whore mother complex. Someone is like the perfect person that they would want to be perceived with. This other person is the shameful one that gets to see a different side of them. But 
in this dynamic, they get to be a different self. They, they're they very confident. This person downplays their energy in some way, for but they continue to go to it because there's a certain level of um, maybe how they're looked at, or it could be security and safety. There could be material things that are involved in this dynamic, but um, yeah, like it's a... It's not the easiest thing to go through, definitely. There's a lot of shadow work involved here, but depending on your situation, Cancer, like if you're the one, it's really just about you continuing to go to your self-care, but this person's going to continue to have like triggered reactions unless they learn how to like, yeah, literally chill out and just calm down in this situation. It's a little bit more challenging for the Knight of Wands because they keep getting triggered in some particular way. So they become impulsive and fiery. And but they also might be becoming more triggered by the boundaries. That also could be a scenario. But it could be that you are just moving through this process and trying to stay as calm as possible and even transcend your own ego involvement in the situation and that you are working through um, coming back to yourself and your self-care if you had once abandoned yourself. Because that really is the trick of this process, Cancer. How committed can you stay to yourself? as you deal with external factors that are doing things that are um, out of the norm or catching you off guard, anything like that, if you can continue to be honest with yourself and keep committed to you, you will see law of attraction wise open up and things will present themselves to you. Like maybe it will be a situation at a distance that pops up where you're able to go to it. But I would definitely say in this specific reading to protect your energy, keep your boundaries strong, and there will be something like a miracle that lines up almost like with that binary star. It'll be a new energy, a brand new seed that you can plant, and you'll feel the alignment come into place. Just keep like keep your integrity to yourself very very high at this time okay my loves i'm gonna leave it there cancer i hope you guys got something useful from this sending you so much love wishing you all the very best see you in your next reading take care